So this video is about uh, Reiki. I'm a holistic healer and I started with Reiki about 25 years back. And at that time, I had just heard the name Reiki. I didn't know much about it. But then after that, I learned it from my teacher, who is Mr. Prithipal. He stays in Delhi in India. At that time, also, he was a very good healer. You know, the term healing, healer, for some, uh, this is even scary. Because <laughs> uh, uh, they feel uh, it's connected with uh, occult or something. But uh, that is not true. It's very scientific. Any form of healing is very scientific. Whether it is Reiki or uh, acupressure or acupuncture or EFT. Of course, there are alternate therapies. And these are energy healings, vibrational healings. So, you know, we are made up of energy, everything. So all of us are energy bodies. And uh, healings deal with energy. Uh, Reiki now is a very common term and most people know about it. They know it, but they don't know. Because <laughs> it's just uh, what, uh, what they hear. And there's a lot of confusion about what it really is. Now, I'm not going to tell you what is there already in the books or on the internet. You all have access to it. I'm go only going to talk about my experience of Reiki and what according to me Reiki is. Reiki is called love and light energy. In Hindi we call it prana. It has other names like chi and ki in Chinese, you know. So it's basically the energy, the cosmic force. Today one is living because one has prana. The prana leaves the body. We call that person dead. Prana is energy which is everywhere. It's inside us, outside us. It's in the universe, everywhere. When a person is sick or not well, the, his pranic level goes down. Uh, why does the pranic level go down? Because energy starts leaking because of some infection, because of stress. Uh, it's like, um, suppose uh, there is a bucket with a hole in it. And even if you have turned the tap on and water is filling into the bucket, but at the same time, it is leaking. So the water can never overflow. It keeps filling the bucket, but it keeps emptying it. The hole keeps emptying it. So when we are sick, we are eating, we're getting energy from the sun, from the moon, from other things, food, water. But our energy is leaking because there is uh, sickness, there is... Uh, some cause to it. People like us who learn Reiki are called Reiki channels. Re means spiritual and uh, Ki is energy. So it is spiritual energy or universal energy or cosmic energy. And we who learn it are called channels because we channelize that energy. And we channelize it and pass it on to the other person. So we begin Reiki by asking the cosmic force enters through the head into our body and flows through our hands. It basically flows from the palm, from this area and from the fingertips. Okay. And this is how we ask for Reiki and this is how we give Reiki. We can give it by touching a person. There are certain energy points, main points in the body we call chakras. You've all heard about it. We clean those chakras, energize them because they are um, the main switches of our energy system. Once they get energized, they energize the whole body. 
so reiki works at two levels it cleans the chakras of any negativity negativity is nothing but as we say it could be infection it could be some uh, sometimes some kind of force negative force which has affected you it could be your own thoughts i think mostly it gets generated within us when we are worried when we are fearful or when we are thinking ill about someone that is when we generate negative force inside ourselves so one should not blame others for everything one should first look into oneself and see if the negative energy is coming from within in any case whether it is coming from within or without reiki process helps to remove that uh, negative energy or rather balances the energies and it's like it closes the the hole in the bucket and the cosmic force which comes in now can fill the bucket and even overflow so we are reiki channels we are facilitators it's like a pipe in your garden so one end of the pipe is in the tap and the water comes out of it so it is channelizing the water and then you can water your plants with it so we are like channels we take in the cosmic force passes through us and reaches you and heals you so we are only instrumental only thing is if the pipe is clean water can flow very easily if it is blocked water cannot flow similarly if we as channels are clean the energy will flow through us the energy also heals us before it goes to you and heals you every healer gets healed himself or herself before he or she heals someone else now the properties of this energy are very uh, amazing it's a very intelligent force you don't have to tell it where to go or what the problem is you can just give the energy and it reaches the other person it identifies the problem the gaps in his energy system energizes points which require energy balances the person de-stresses the person and finally the person gets healed so healing means uh, bringing a person into balance centering a person normalizing a person it can be a plant it can be anything people have tried reiki on um, computers on phones on cars there's so much more to learn about what reiki is it's an ongoing process the more we practice it the more uh, facts come out i mean it's it's a very mystical energy from my experience i can say this that the feeling the other person gets is of a lot of love from my experience i can say that when we give reiki the other person feels loved cared for and at peace now suppose i want to hug someone but that person is very far from me so i can just imagine that person and just send love through reiki and if a person is anxious or fearful and it's like a prayer you know we pray for a person similarly we give reiki to a person and the person feels loved feels energetic and it's surprising how there are so many persons who are slightly psychic and they can tell you when they are being given reiki and to the part that they are given reiki so giving reiki is also not a mystery so first we ask for reiki and then we give reiki okay so we can give without touching a person just by uh, i can give from here also just by thinking about the person if the person is in front of us just give reiki like this 
See, energy can flow either way through thought or any other way. Right? And uh, people receive it and feel better. So it has to be done. Only then uh, you will realize uh, what it is and what impact it has on people. And they are very miraculous cures which to you might seem uh, impossible but uh, which all Re Reiki practitioners um, have seen, they've happened. Uh, so in the first course, basic course, uh, we teach about the chakras and about what Reiki is. In the second course, we teach some symbols. There are three main symbols. The mastership course, which helps you to help others by teaching them about Reiki. So now this is the theoretical part, but Reiki is not about theory, it's about experience. The more you practice, the more you learn. In the end, Reiki is a very loving energy. If you are genuinely wanting someone to get better, if your intentions are for the larger good, it happens. You are very powerful. Each one of us is very powerful. Our good intentions, our good thoughts, our positivity helps the people, helps the universe, helps nature. There's no limit to what it can do. You have to uh, experience it. When we learn the symbols, we simply make them here in this part. And the energy magnifies with those symbols. And all the three symbols work at different levels. The first symbol works at the physical level, second at the mental emotional level, and third in the spiritual level. And if you're interested to know more, please uh, write in the comment box. And I'll know exactly what you would like to know about. But this is what basically Reiki is about. I hope I've made sense to you. And I hope to convince you further with my videos in future. Thank you and see you again.